So this is based obviously on the very, very successful, and I cannot say it very enough, I guess, very successful, <laughs> XC9, new XC90, right? Yes. The XC90 has been the first car in our scalable product architecture, and, and really has been the, the car that shows our new design philosophy. And the car has been very, very well received. We've been very lucky to receive a lot of honors for it, and uh, the customers really seem to love it as well. So. The T6 was with the gas engine, that came out in August. This is the T8, the twin engine, which started um, uh, being released to customers just in January, so okay. uh, relatively relatively soon. And then we have the R-Design version, which is mechanically the same as the, as the T6, but it has a, a different flavor to the look and feel. So this being a plug-in hybrid, um, I noticed that pretty much the cabin is exactly the same. Yes. I mean, because I understand the battery is under here. That's right. So that was a, one of the big challenges in, in this, and one of the great things about the new uh, product platform, the new product architecture, is that we put the battery in the center tunnel. And it, we get a lot of benefits from that. Not only yeah. do we get the benefit of not giving up any interior space, compared to the regular gas which, which That happens with other cars that, that apply the hybrid technology into the regular car and they sacrifice a lot of space right. in most cases. And so that's what's interesting about this platform. It was built from the ground up for electrification. So okay. it was built around electrification to plan for that. And then also from a safety standpoint, by having the battery pack here in the center, in the center tunnel, uh, it is the safest place for it to be. Um, you don't have batteries being pushed into people. Okay. Um, you don't have the, you don't have as, as much worry about the batteries being impacted from a crash because of its center yeah, and, exactly. and low gravity. In, and Volvo is also known for so much safety. Yes. I mean, even you are now you have a pledge for that 2020 plan that nobody will yep, get killed or it, seriously injured in that Volvo car. That's pretty amazing. That's right. Right. I mean, it's our vision. We started it uh, back in about 2008, where we said our vision is that no one should be killed or seriously injured in a new Volvo by the year 2020. And so. That's more than just marketing speak. That has really been the core of all of the engineering and design decisions that we've made over the last several years with these yeah. new cars. It's how can we integrate semi-autonomous technology? How can we integrate more boron steel? How can we design redesign the seats to accept different forces so that it, the force is going into the seat and into the car rather than into your back and yeah. your spine? Um, so that is a very important vision for Volvo and everything that you see really ties back to that vision.